Art Sisters is a group of women artists who show together, support and encourage one another, and raise money for worthy causes. It has been a difficult year, but they are springing forward and reconnecting through art. Some, but not all, sent short messages about their work to the group's president, Laurie Murray, who reads them for us. Sandra Benham's New Mexico inspiration began as a small crayon drawing. Then came the lockdown in spring of 2020 and Sandra had time to create this large 60 by 36 oil painting. Priscilla Boland says, I find every day I have more time to do what I really want, which is paint, improve my new old house, take care of myself and reconnect with people I haven't spoken to for 20 years. My art is meditative, soothing, sometimes exciting, all cohesive with my house. Ginny Conover says, call me a Pollyanna. But in order to create, I believe one needs to dig deep into oneself. Solitude can be a creative force. So there are positives in this horrible mess. Barbara Dernbach tells us about her painting, Woman in Repose. This portrait depicts the raw emotion I've been feeling throughout the past year, she says. Susan is a collage that Cindy Philkill was commissioned to do as a surprise birthday gift. And it incorporates paint, maps, and memorabilia. During the beginning of the lockdown, Deb Simon reports that she had trouble with creativity. I chose to paint the beautiful sunsets outside my window and the rainbows after a storm to focus on the positive. Edna Santiago painted the sea on a cold, snowy day. I wanted to be there so bad, she tells us. Ellen Rosenfeld looks skyward for inspiration and comfort. She tells us that the sky's roiling, its forgiveness, its gradations, and what I find most soothing, she says, it's variegated blues. I long to be back in the Caymans, my happy place. Instead, I paint my treasured memories of its sunsets. Blanche Torfey describes her work for the past year as being about hope for coming out of this pandemic. 
compassion for those who are suffering, going forward for inspiration, and fostering a connection to nature that will soothe the spirit and bring feelings of peace and serenity. This is Inked Growth Blue by Florence Weiss. This collage, she says, expresses my need to emerge from the dark isolation of the pandemic and begin to expand. Marsha Trigger tells us this past year has brought to light so many issues concerning transparency, racial injustice, and dishonest politicians. The death of George Floyd was the most shocking and disturbing thing I've ever seen. I was inspired to make this artwork for all races that have been targeted by hate crimes. Linda Dubin Garfield reflects on travel. We usually travel somewhere wonderful during these winter months. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's summer. This year, I'm recollecting beautiful places in my mind's eye as I stay home and hope to travel again safely. Lenny Greenberg combined photography and collage in this piece inspired during one of her many walks in COVID time. Louise Herring selected cheerful colors for her painting to express a joyful optimism for a COVID-19 free world. <music> Kathleen Spicer says that each time she enters her studio, I'm so happy to have a place to create that is safe, warm, and quiet. My work has become more positive, bright, and energetic. I close the door on COVID and choose to make art that is more uplifting than ever. Margie Quint's painting of her grandson, entitled Sweet Dreams, is all about childhood innocence and the wonderful world of sleep. Mary Kane says that COVID has left her feeling like her brain is grinding like gears in a mill, thinking of how to keep myself busy and productive, like crushing grain into flour. Sometimes the process, particularly when painting, feels excruciating, like the gears are stuck, and sometimes the sifting of elements lightens me up. During 2020, Sally Eisenberg developed a series of paintings called Visualization of Hope. She delved deep within, she says, developing a body of work evoking my own journey with the ultimate goal of invoking hope for myself and the world. For Sue Stefanski, painting brings peace and her work gives that feeling to the people who see it.
for additional information about Art Sisters and to see more of their work, please visit artsisters.org.